Now I'm gonna show you how to attack somebody in a tight side mount. Most people are not beginners anymore. They will not flail their arms around. They'll probably hide their arms behind your back and will not give you anything. So we need to uh, like crush them open like an oyster and take the sweet and savory thing inside to make them tap. Let's do it. So in a very tightly locked side mount, there is not too many possibilities for me to attack. I cannot get his arm, nor can I open them. And, uh, well, there's one bonus technique for the feet, but we're gonna do that probably next time. So the first thing that I would want to do is, because his hands are hidden behind my back, his neck seems to be exposed a bit. So we will do a paper cutter choke, but the nogi variation. Like so. So I just pull out my head side arm, elbow stays in and low, and my fingers come around the jaw and the neck. And I enter until the middle of my wrist is right at his chin. Then I close, either with an Indian grip or if I can, with a shovel grip. My elbow stays low and then I use my wrist to apply pressure to his neck. Probably I'm gonna tap him out and if not, then he would explosively rotate towards me. So when I go for the paper cutter, either I can tap him out or he uses his shoulder to rotate to, towards me, yes, to relieve the pressure of his neck. And now I got an underhook, an exposed arm, and I can go for whatever I wish. Then I can just go for the normal side mount attack. So as soon as I'm here, either he's tapping or He's cracking open. I close my knee to bar him from entering his. I take the shoulder and the elbow control here. Now I get an elbow knee frame. Bring my knee up and now I can do whatever I please. I got this arm isolated. I can go for far side arm bar or for any other trick. Yeah, maybe even a lock if he doesn't keep his arm in. And I also got exposure of the neck so I can go for a guillotine here or whatever. Anaconda choke and a thousand other techniques. So that's the first way to crack open a closed side mount. And the second way would be to go over the head and now either apply the near side darts choke that we did a short time ago or invert and bring my foot over. And once my foot is over, I try to control this near side arm and tap him with a near side arm lock. So I don't need any arm exposure. I produce my own arm exposure. Foot over the head, close. Now it's locked tight. And see, I got this arm in tight and I expose it. If I lose that arm here for any reason, that means his lock around my neck is broken too. So I try to get control of his far side arm. If it's locked, it's all good. And try to knee on belly. And now I can go for whatever. Maybe push down. Usually he will not open if he's opening at Don Americana, if he's still closed. Try to grab around. And now I got all the exposure I need for Americana, for armbar, neck exposure, back take. Whatever I feel like. I can go for. So that's how to crack open a tight side mount. Awesome. So there's a okay. third, third variation that I really like a lot, and it's a yeah, it's a simple and nasty one. So I grab the shoulder, I bring my knee in tight, and now I want to bring the knee up and frame him. And usually that's where people open and try to defend. So look, it's, it's very simple. I bring my elbow on his chest and my knee as well. Either the knee first or the elbow first, I need to decide. Probably the elbow first and pull, yeah. or the elbow first and push. And now even if he's trying to keep his arms closed, it's just very annoying. And I can push him down 
and expose his arm, isolate the arm, neck exposure, near side arm exposure, and a heck a lot of pressure on his sternum. And because of my elbow knee frame, it's downright impossible for him to enter the knees. So again, I cracked open, I can start punching, I can get away, I can transfer to the mount, I can go for any submission. Easy way to crack open a closed side mount. Oops. Yes. So that's it. Now you know how to crack open a tight side mount and attack an opponent that's purely defending. Oops.